Live Through This is a project about life on the other side of a suicide attempt. A suicide is attempted about once every 40 seconds to a minute. And a suicide is completed every 15 to 18 minutes. That's a lot of people being affected on a daily basis. Sharing the portraits and stories of suicide attempt survivors in, in an effort to kind of open up dialogue. To show that the people who are a part of this project could be anybody. Your brother, your mom, your neighbor. And, and you would never know because everyone's so afraid to talk about it. I meet with somebody whose story I know a little bit about. They tell me their story and directly after that I make a portrait because they're in that headspace. And I think, I don't know, I find that, I think it's really poignant and telling. Not only have I studied suicide and self-injury, it was because I was a cutter for nine years. It was because I have a suicide attempt in my past. So, I just, I remember the way that I was treated and the way that I felt and how I felt alone, just incredibly alone. When I found the project, I thought, wow, fantastic. You know, this is a way for me to talk without somebody giving me a really strange look or trying to give me medication or trying to lock me up or telling me how wrong I was about something. If, if people don't understand it, this might give them a chance to see like, you know, there's a human here. It is something I think that a lot of people maybe deal with at some point in time. And it's nice to just uh, have some solidarity there for them and with them, you know? And we just need to reach out and say, we can talk about it. We can approach it. It does happen. And the more we're scared of it, the more difficult it can be for people who face it because they know they have nowhere to go. And that feeling of having nowhere to go and no one to speak with kind of makes it worse in the first place. And I would argue if you had more outlets and more people to reach out to, then you would have fewer people going that far and taking that step. The people who are on that brink, they say like, listen, like, there's a whole nother side to this. There is so much love in the world still. So like, soldier on, man, you know what I mean? I've got people all over the country, 60 or 70 people who have said, yes, I want to do this. I want to tell you my story. I just think, I think it's important to see these faces and to see how different everybody is and, and well, how different, but how, how, the, how we're all the same, really, I mean. My ultimate vision for this project is to save lives. I mean, that's, that's what it comes down to. Redeem